now let us discuss about jk flip flop characteristic table characteristic equation and the excitation table in the last video already we have seen explanation about the jk flip flop as well as uh, truth table of the jk flip flop so this is the truth table of the jk flip flop jk flip flop accept two inputs j and k and uh, it produces uh, q n plus 1 so this is nothing but uh, next state output here the first two three combinations are similar to sr flip flop only so if the inputs are 0 0 then the next state output is current state output only there is no change so q n plus 1 is nothing but next state output whereas q n is nothing but present state output next if the input is 0 1 then the output is 0 0 means reset so here also j means set k means reset if the input is 0 1 then we will get this j value as the output what is the j value 0 as the output next if the inputs are 1 0 j value is 1 so we will get 1 as the output so 1 means set so these three combinations are similar to the sr flip flop whereas in sr flip flop if the inputs are 1 1 then we can say that the output is never used that is nothing but it is invalid combination we never use 1 1 combination whereas in jk flip flop we can use 1 1 combination it will toggles the current output so that means if the inputs are 1 1 then the output is q n bar it complements the current state output now let us uh, uh, design the characteristic table based upon the truth table uh, here we have three inputs such as j k q n and it produces one output q n plus one so here we have three inputs so totally we will have two power three that is eight combinations so for uh, eight for eight decimal numbers from zero to seven the binary notation is uh, written so triple zero 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 one binary notation is written now let us uh, calculate the next state output here if we observe the first two combinations j value is zero as well as k value is zero if j and k are zero zero then what is the output current state output current the next state output will be equals to the current state output only so here what is the current state output 0 is the current state output so the next state output will also become 0 so here also inputs are 0 0 so the next state output is current state output what is the current state output 1 so we will get 1 only next if we observe the next two, two combinations 0 1 0 1 j value is 0 so we will get 0 as the output irrespective of current state output we will get 0 as the output why because here what is j value 0 as well as k value is 1 so 0 1 means output is reset so output is 0 irrespective of current state output next 1 0 j value is 1 k value is 0 if the inputs are 1 0 then the output is the set output 1 is the output irrespective of the current state output so 1 1 next 1 1 1 1 if the inputs are 1 1 then the next state output is complement of the current state output so here the current state output is 0 0 complement means 1 here the current state output is 1 so 1 complement means 0 now we have to evaluate this characteristic equation so q n plus 1 now we have to evaluate characteristic equation so for simplification we, here we are using Karnoff map so here we have three input variables so that's why we use this three variable Karnoff map left hand side represents j right hand side k q n so here 0 1 here 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 okay if we observe q n plus 1 column here we have first one 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 1 next this is the second one what is the combination 1 double 0 so 1 0 0 next here also we have 1 1 0 1 so 1 0 1 next here also we have 1 1 1 1 0 so 1 1 1 0 so now let us do the uh, pairing grouping so we can make these two cells as a group 
so here what is the value here j value is changing so there is no need to consider j value whereas 0 1 is nothing but k bar q n 0 1 is nothing but k bar q n whereas we can make these two cells as a group uh, here 1 so 1 means j j if we observe 0 0 1 0 second 0 is common what is second 0 q n bar q n bar so this is the characteristic equation q n plus 1 equal to j q n bar plus k bar q n now let us design the excitation table for excitation table the inputs are q n and q n plus 1 these two are the inputs whereas j k are the outputs here we have two inputs so totally we will have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so if we observe the first one 0 0 so q n is 0 q n plus 1 is 0 so here we have two combinations where q n and q n plus 1 is 0 0 so first call first row as well as third row if we observe j and k values j value is 0 so write 0 whereas k is changing from 0 to 1 so we have to write don't care why because it is changing from 0 to 1 next 0 1 0 1 so here we have uh, uh, 0 1 here we have 1 row and in last but 1 row is also 0 1 so 0 1 0 1 if we observe these two rows so 1 1 so first one is common whereas if we observe k value k is changing from 0 to 1 0 to 1 so we have to put don't care so don't care means it may be either 0 or 1 next 1 0 1 0 yeah we have 1 row and last row also 1 0 so 1 0 1 0 if we observe these two rows so j is changing from 0 to 1 so don't care don't care whereas k value is 1 k value is 1 next combination is 1 1 1 1 so here we have one combination one combination so let's check we uh, do we have any other combination no we have only one one combination so one zero so one zero yeah let's check one more time do we have any one zero yeah yeah one 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 so this is zero zero yeah second row is one one as well as this row is also one one so second row as well as this row second row this row so 0 1 so x value j value is changing from 0 to 1 so don't care whereas k value is 0 only k value is 0 only so this is the excitation table it is very very easy to remember the excitation table so the first two values are 0 1 so after that we will get don't cares so 0 1 don't cares next reverse of this column so that means don't care don't care 1 0 don't care don't care 1 0 so this is about jk flip-flop characteristic table characteristic equation as well as excitation table